Hey, hello there. So today I'm talking about question 1013, partition array into three parts with equal sum. Uh, we have an integer array, and we want to determine if we can partition the array into three non-empty parts with equal sums. So formally, this means that we need to find two uh, partition index, i plus 1 and j, such that uh, if we sum elements from 0 to i, that's going to be equal to uh, if we sum i plus 1 to j minus 1, also equal to from j and all the way back. So since that uh, this 3 is a division of the totality, that means uh, the sum has to be, uh, the, you know, the 3 parts sum uh, has to be equal to one third of the total sum. So if we just do one pass to calculate this uh, total, then we can starting from 0 and uh, all find the first location that uh, sum up to one third of that. Uh, meaning that we find i. Then from there, we just uh, uh, try to find another continuous chunk that sum up to one third of the target value, you know, the total. Uh, so one third of the total, which is now our target, uh, that, that tells us uh, we find j minus one. And uh, if we still have elements left to the right, that means uh, uh, the remainder part has to sum up to one third because the previous two, they sum up to uh, two sir so if we still have things going on that that part uh, remainder part has to sum up to one third so two pass uh, calculate the sum uh, divide that by three to get the target and the front left to right uh, we do accumulation uh, to find the target uh, increment uh, a counter for the number of times we find that and reset the accumulation if the counter hits two and uh, uh, we still have elements left to the right that means uh, the third part is going to be summing up to the target. So two pass, and uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, just going to do a really quick demo with an uh, example. Here, this guy is sum up to nine. How how do I know this so fast? Um, I'm looking at here zero two one. So that's the first part. They sum up to three. So multiply three by three, we get nine. So that's why this guy has to sum up to three. So just by eyeballing, I find that uh, I can put i here. We get a three, and j has to be uh, j has to be here. Uh, two zero one. They has to sum up uh, to three. Uh, so, but but in reality, um, my algorithm is gonna, just going to starting from left. Uh, zero two one. They add up to three. So I increment this counter by one, uh, and then reset to zero. Uh, negative six uh, and six positive six that go back to zero negative seven nine go back to two and I have a one there uh, that hits to three again so once that hits three I can increment the counter uh, and uh, we, we do find we still have elements on the, on the right uh, so the remainder has to be equal to three I don't even need to look at this two zero one I know that they has to sum up to three so at that point, uh, time point, um, when I, I'm actually at the J, I can return true. So yeah, so that's uh, a quick illustration about how this two pass algorithm is gonna work. So we get this total equal to this uh, sum, and the target value is just gonna be this total divided by three. And uh, we can actually check um, if the total is not a multiple um, of 3, we can return false because there is no way we can uh, partition this into 3 parts. Um, after that, we're just going to uh, initialize a, a accumulator um, and also a counter. They, they are 0 in the beginning and starting to iterate uh, over the numbers from left to right. If we hit the, the target, we increment the counter and reset the accumulation. Um, one tricky part is that uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, when the counter hits 2, we still have stuff on the right. So 
it's not the immediate time when the counter hits two we should return true it's in the next iteration so we do a checking here Uh, the reason for this is that uh, uh, there could be case where when the counter hits 2, we are at the very last element in the array. So there is no next iteration. There is no chance we have a third part. Uh, if we do this counter check and return true after this uh, update, uh, we might, uh, we might uh, return uh, we might return true when we actually shouldn't. So that's uh, slightly tricky here. So that's the uh, code uh, to pass. 